Now, civil society organizations in Africa are gearing up for the Faith African Union and European Union Agriculture Ministerial Conference to be held in Rome in Italy later this month. The main aim of the conference is to influence discussions and share recommendations, including promoting sustainable agriculture, farmer-managed seed systems, and protecting land and resources. Daisy Love with that report. So it is important this push continues. Civil society organizations in Africa are collaborating to craft a position statement ahead of the 5th African Union, European Union Agricultural Ministerial Conference. The conference scheduled for the end of this month in Rome, Italy. The focus of the conference will be resilient food systems and sustainable agri-value chains in line with the Africa-EU partnership. Some of the recommendations that we are giving uh, is that uh, we need to prioritize agroecology in our agriculture. How does the EU, even in its funding to ag uh, agriculture, focus on supporting smallholder farmers? At least 30% should go into ag agroecology. And of course, uh, we are very keen to see the highly hazardous pesticides, the toxic pesticides that are banned in Europe and still in, in being exported to Africa are also banned from being exported from Europe so that we can have agriculture that is uh, more sustainable, practicing agroecological practice. To influence the discussions, CSOs in the country are planning to share the position statement with delegations representing Africa. Most African countries depend on agriculture not only for food but also for work and therefore there can be no discussions about Africans without talking about agriculture. So agriculture must be, bro must be brought to the heart of this meeting and issues that touch on agriculture and challenges around agriculture be addressed. Policies around promotion of agroecology must also look at issues around pesticides because pesticides impact negatively on our soil, on our health, and therefore we need policy coherence between what we are promoting and what is actually on the ground. Their recommendations include emphasizing the importance of food and agriculture in the AU-EU partnership, supporting democratic decision-making based on human rights, promoting farmer-managed seed systems, and phasing out harmful pesticides and chemical fertilizers. Our soils are so depleted and poor because of use of chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides and herbicides. Biofertilizers and bioinputs are able to heal that soil and restore the organic matter and produce healthy food. And when you have um, healthy soils, we'll be able to produce healthy foods. I am Daisy Lam Kirote reporting for Hope TV Newswatch.